beside him on a spot to put them. In underneath this seating system here is where I've got the uh, fuse box for the 240 volt. So I can run, well, I was thinking of either having it here, plug socket there, because then I can utilise it for up here, or there, I could put it here, it's against there, so it's for plugging stuff around there, but I'm not sure. I'll have a look anyway, I'll see what I think about here first and then perhaps make a decision because uh, I've got the, I've run the cables through so that's what I'm going to be doing a bit of tinkering uh, with electrics today so uh, I'll show you how we get on with that this little bit here I put a rubber strip across here but it doesn't look very even it's a little bit hard on the feet and it's not flush up to there so it's annoying me so I've cut myself a piece of ply I'm going to carpet that now and create a soft edge for that so that's that's the next job just getting things out of the way getting things neat and tidy ready for front little homemade creation i've made myself now is um an internal light for the bedroom. <clears throat> so what I did, <coughs> cut myself a piece of ply, coated it with me hessian and carpet over the top, glued it all down, so, and then uh, put a piece of 2 one planed, attached the LED strip to it, put my block there so I can connect it, and then I'm going to screw that to the bedroom ceiling so that it stays in uh, with keeping you know with what the feature of the rest of the bedrooms like so I'll show you that one that's put up now so I'm just going to attach that and fit it up now lovely a bit more cardboard if I need it which I don't think I do this time there you go that's how quick it is to get one in smashing things there we are, warm as. Right, so I fed a cable through. Let me just show you. Fed the cable through there, under there, back of the fridge, up the top. Here she is, under there, so she can't go anywhere, stripped, ready. We'll have a hole here, plug socket there. Right, what I've done is put that against there, marked it up, ready. And I'm going to drill each corner and then just straight in with the jigsaw. Okay, I've drilled inside of the corners, drilled four holes, and then I'll get the jigsaw now and just cut all this here. Okay, cut the little uh, square out, gone round with the jigsaw now, smartened it all up, and then this has got these lugs here so I've pulled them right in and then what I'll do is just well I'll break those old lugs off first and just to be on the safe side break that one off and that one because it's easier to do while they're out just in case I do need them and then just fit that in and that should be a nice tight fit we here and then that pushes out like so and then I'll just give that a little bit of uh, tools of fine adjusting. There we go. And that will pull forward as we put the front on. There, that will grip onto there. So that'll be a nice fit once that's wired up. So there we go. First piece in. Now I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> if you're not a qualified electrician, obviously, and you're not sure about electrics, then don't attempt it, or do attempt it, but get it checked by a qualified professional. Now that that's in, I've fed my cable through, and I just want to point out that the socket I'm putting in is the one that's got the USB chargers on it as well, because they're going to be, everything's off USB now, you know, so, so as well as having my 240 volt sockets there, 
then I've also got my USB chargers as well. It is just like wiring a plug. Follow the thing. It's monkey see, monkey do. Earth, neutral, life. Connect those and it's just the same as doing a plug, he said, belching with his teeth. Okay, and then all you do then is fit that in and screw it in and that's it. Job's a fish again. All right, so all I'm going to do is connect those, feed the wire back and then secure the socket into there and I'll show you what it looks like when the it's done. The interior side there and what I've done is I've put a small blanking plate here and what that's doing is that's keeping the cable tucked in so it's not going to fall forward and get caught on anything. Not that there's anything to catch on but it tucks it neatly out of the way. Okay, um, that's my electric box down there. I'm going to put the fuse housing now, the fuse box housing, which I'm going to attach to this blanking board, which is going to go, in the words of the fast show, Sminky Pinky Penetration Chris Waddle Boutros Boutros Garlic. And if you don't know the fast show, you've got to Google it because it was such an awesome show. Minky pinky bang bang right anyway sorry back to this uh, yeah blanking board attach that holes are punched at the bottom there ready so I'll fit that and then I know exactly how long I want my wires to be which is all these ones that's hanging over there uh, sorry all these ones that's hanging over there they're ready for me now to clip cut feed in and get ready because I want to get this wrapped up now fuse box is in now and one of the wires is through, but each one that you feed through, remember to name it so that you've got your reference or write it on the fuses or whatever it is. I personally, I'm just gonna put a piece of tape round which will name where the wire's coming from and what it's feeding. Fuse box is in. I'm just putting in some screws to secure it now. Now with a little bit of carpet in the bottom, that's a nice tidy little storage space now. Fuses are all tidied up there, cables all tidy, and that's ready to go. So while I'm putting this back together now, the ply that I had on top, I've carpeted, and that creates a non-slip surface for the seating when it goes on top. And then underneath here, because this rests on wood, you can buy this non-slip matting. And this is dirt cheap, you can buy it from Home Bargains or any cheap retail store. Bit of spray glue on there, either side. And then that, when you put it on top of here, rests on top of there. And that just doesn't, look, that's not sliding forward at all. And it rests on the wood. So it's just a case of putting the cushion back on. Like so. Raining its bag off outside, but it is Wales, we do live in a wet climate occasionally, but we do have some cracking weather as well. I think the last one was 1950, I think. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Right, so as you can see, nice seat there now, and if I just raise that up, and there we go. Plug socket in there as well, nice little spot for it as well, handy for charging and stuff here, handy to use on top of the a uh, cooking area if you need to use an electric item, say like a toaster or something like that. So that's in a good spot. 
this is the frame for my electric uh, switch box for the bedroom and I've covered it in that because uh, I don't want the bare wood and I want a soft edge so if you do catch your leg on it it's material so I'm just going to attach that now I've put brackets in little L brackets there and I'm going to fasten that now to a wall piece and I'll just show you when that's attached on there Ooh, wobble on what I've been doing is the screws are too long and I didn't want to cut them down because I needed the point to pierce through the carpet that I'm screwing in but I didn't want them to come through that part of the wall there so all I've done is where the frame is on the wall stabbed it with a screwdriver to make a dent into the carpet pushed the screw in and I'm using these plastic nuts as thick washers and that's with the panel on I've yet to put the uh, 12 volt supply here and the switch for the light but the 240 volt is set up and wired in and that's ready to go and there you can see how it makes a nice little finish to it having it with the hesse in there okay plugged in to the uh, mains and switch the fuses on um, this is just a test now just to see if we've got electricity running through see if these work and there we go charging so that's a good sign um, System. What can I say? So we now have, and the fridge is on as well, look. And that's the phone. So I'll catch you guys later. Hiya. I am, yes. I've just tested all the electrics and everything is working fine on 240 volts. So we are good to go. Right, that's the 240 volt system done in now. Um, I'm going to tidy the van up, get everything sorted now because it looks like Beirut again. So, um, thanks again for tuning in. And again, obviously, if you're doing electrics, do get them checked if you're not sure yourself or get someone in to do them for you, a tradesman. Um, it's very easy to do. We're now set up now. We've now got 12 volt system in this side. We've now got 240 volt in that side. So we're good to go. Uh, you know, we're getting ready for France and it's, it's getting ever closer. So all these jobs needed to be done. Thanks for tuning in again. Please subscribe, uh, follow my progress and little bits and bobs and jobs and stuff like that. And, uh, and do definitely tune in for the big road trip next month. So thanks again. And uh, I haven't said it for a while, so we'll have some music. There we go. Excellent. And, uh, Saving credits, big thank yous, and uh, another ginger dog at the end. Okay, thanks again. See you, everyone. Bye.